what's going on? It's Earl, we're back here in Amsterdam. It's battle number four of the day. We've got another dope battle coming up. This time we've got two UK guys coming out from uh, England and Germany, respectively, to battle here in Amsterdam. Shouts to all them. Shouts to all the European fans coming out to show mm. support as well. MC on my right hand side. Make sure you check it as only. Don't let the label label you and all that good shit. We got Johnny J. Make some noise. Let's go. Yeah. This uh, September we'll be collabing with Jolly J for his German league. We're going back to Germany this September. Look out for more details. <laughs> All right. On the left-hand side, coming all the way from Don't Flop UK as well, we've got Mr. Tongue Twister. Make some noise. <laughs> right, man. Jolly J was going to go first. It's Don't Flop Amsterdam, European shit. on my dude, Jolly J. Let's go. All right, check it. Mm. I don't want to be generic. The writing for him, that's just what the theme is. I mean, there's a lot about me. I run my own league, I got a CD, but researching him, there's not much to see. That's why it's not really even. Now, I could rap about his big nose, but I won't do that, for obvious reasons. <laughs> but there's a beast with the me needing unleashing, and it's pissed off because Chris Twist's not an interesting topic to feed it. Just another generic battle MC. No character seen. Four by four structures, over pronouncing each scheme. Lost a battle to belief, that's as whack as can be. Such a pansy, he makes Avril Levine seem like gangster rap from the streets. So get, yo, so get lost. Bitch, you're like the red dot on Bagnall's camera screen. Cause when you show up, I know you wreck this whole battle in league. Ooh. And that's what and that's what agitates me. That the average in you may bring out the average in me. Cause when there's nothing unusual about your image, I usually just do what I have to do to win it. But I realize the sooner that I choose to do it differently, the sooner you'll be finished. That means I'll think outside the box just to leave more room to put you in it. Mm. Yeah, dude, I'll come out swinging. Draw the line that you're behind. Ain't got the balls to cross it either, cause I'll be cruel. That means I'll come on, mug you off, then stop and beat you like the Holland Keeper versus Costa Rica, that's cruel. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, so what you saying, Twister? It's funny how I'm not playing with you. Still I'll be winning hands down like a game of Twister. <laughs> Get the greater picture, we're on different sides of the scope. I got guys saying let's go, cause they're hyped when I flow. You got guys saying let's go, outside for a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard finding your music online, you should know. Even harder finding it dope. But I did find one song you did called Old Boys. About how you're slightly too old for this shit. About how you're out of your prime. I thought that was all right. <laughs> Only problem is, it came out around 2009. <laughs> true story. In his, true story. In his battle versus Twisted Penny, he's even bragged to the guy, saying, I've been doing this since the 90s. So, it's irrelevant when you first stepped in the cipher. Or if a couple crew brethren back then said you were fire. Bitch, being old school alone don't mean your level is higher. Just because you had crews play you in the 90s, like Jerry Maguire. Mm. Mm. Nice. You've never been hyped up, bitch please. Pedro style, I rip tea with ease. One punch knocks him so far back it turns his grill piece to milk teeth. You feel me? I'm busting you up. One punch and you're done. Bitch, you're dumber than dumb and dumber than one. Go back to London, you cunt. That's round one done to be summing it up. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pep, um, yeah, I just fucked a tongue twister up. Let's go. Mr. Tongue Twister, man, let's do this. Do you know how I know I'm rated by Jolly J? How? Because last year he gave me a proper rate and paid for my holiday. Mm -hmm. Wait, he might talk about my battle in Germany. He may spit it. He may talk about my opponent. But please say different, because his rounds were at least eight minutes and had like three great lyrics and I choked. But I still got a free plane ticket <laughs> and he paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> but even with that slight stumble, I still left Brian damaged, injured, hurt, instant first kill. Weren't on British turf, but the English were real. Mm. I've already beaten the Germans once, and this will be twice that I win with words still like Winston Churchill. Mm. And bruv, I need to get something off my chest. That is the last time I come to one of your events because it was just a lot of men. Mm. And the women that were there, none would offer sex, but Jay was like, yeah, I trust the best, I love a sausage fest. <laughs> 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 The only German that you know, you learnt it from Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you actually here? What are your damn plans now? Are you here to promote your band camp sound? We have had doubts. I know. He's gonna pull his damn pants down and have wanks round Anne Frank's house with his hand flat out like a oh. bad man crap. Oh. I bet your granddad's proud. Oh. <laughs> and why are you acting salty? Why do you think you actually can insult me? I will mention a war more than Basil Fawlty rapping movies. Mm. I'm like John Cleese on cheese. <laughs> I've had enough of Jay today. 
Boom, please. <laughs> and look, so, I know we both look. I know we both look Jewish, but I'm not getting gassed. <laughs> this would be a mirror match if I had a Hitler tash. See, they think he's probably into some sort of German hip hop horrorcore, but Jolly's more into grime from across the shores. Favorite group? Don't gas, of course. <laughs> Favorite member? Holocaust. <laughs> but no, seriously, they're right. Like, I know you're from Germany, but I'm not going to act like you're part of some sort of foreign party that wants to harm me. This isn't World War II, and you're not from the army, but is it true that you have a mate called Adolf? Yes, it is. You fucking nuts. <laughs> 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 right, round two, JJ. Make some noise. Let's go, man. You're a bitch, son of a whore. The name, yo, the name Adolf in Germany is like your fucking flow these days. It doesn't really exist anymore. Because someone, yo, someone should give me a sign when his rounds are over, you know, honestly. I never know when to go. Because he's got a specific accent, vocal tone, and a flow that makes it hard to know if he's still rapping or hosting the show. <laughs> But you do somehow captivate heads mainly because you're loud and you project a text that's just shallow and average at best so I can compare your rapping to South Park's graphics I guess because you're simply animated and you lack any depth mm. Mm. I checked I check the first track that you did it's called Microphone Molester Man that was some bullshit. First YouTube clip you did still only has a few hits. That gangster act didn't pull it. So it's funny how you tried acting all gangster on your premiere and still no one cared for the full clip. Mm. <laughs> right, right. So you like that little gully, eh? You're no gangster. You're from Surrey, mate. That's where I visit my grandma. Lovely place. <laughs> Problem is, when he leaves Surrey, this cunt's afraid. Not a racist, but hops on trains through London and Dan, spots a black man and keeps his pockets safe. So just imagine how much he'll shake in his boots after a blunt of skunk or haze here. He'll be paranoid of getting hunted, chased, tongue's worst day, lost in Amsterdam thinking he's followed by a van. Like a Dutch first name. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the Netherlands, bro, where they hate a typical tourist like you more than a terrorist soul. They probably will hunt you down wherever you go. Forget getting real stoned. You'll get shot in a coffee shop like a Friends episode. Because mm. everybody, everybody hates Chris right now. I swear, even this hip-hop crowd would rather do the boogie and a twist around than hear another stupid one of twisters rounds. It's hard for me to listen now. Just boring, basic, flow's not clever, always dated, Chris knows no better. That's why I hate this old tongue on stage. More than Drake did that Coachella. <laughs> Yo, whatever. He's pissed off. That's because Chris crossed the line and I made Chris cross. His whole style backwards, like Chris Cross. So I got Chris crossed off my winning list when I put him in his grave and piss on Chris Cross. Chris Scott. I mean, this guy should know that he ain't sick. And that tongue will always be out. Like when Miley Cyrus poses for a pic. <laughs> Bitch, because you're weak, dude. And you're such a dork. Last time you tried pulling chicks is when they beat you at tug of war. <laughs> you'll, ne you'll never have no women and friends. Chris Twist, I suggest you at least have two children before you kill yourself. Then, well, then you'll still have a quite boring life story. But hey, at least there'll be a couple little twists in the end. <laughs> time. <laughs> I know some of you here are making a plan, thinking maybe I'll stash an eight for a gram for taking it back. But I ain't taking no weed home with me, because that's blatantly mad. But still, I came into damn to leave with Jay in a bag. Everything about you is boring, and your bars are bollocks. And sometimes, it's like you can't be bothered. The only life you've got is a DVD that stars the comics Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. You'll forever be boring. Whenever you're talking, telling a story, or when you're performing, it sounds like you're weather reporting. Explain some light shells and the temperature's warming. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> You've got the bait is fakest accent. It sounds like the cassette boy got some tapes of David Cameron and made him say some rapping. In other words, Jay's a blatant faggot. <laughs> See, my setups go over your head like a cross from a long volley. Looks like someone sucked the life out of you like John Coffey. You've got, no. you've got a weak mind and you've not got a strong body. Everything I'm about to say, even if you got stroppy, I'm not sorry. You feeling depressed? Well, what's going on, Jolly? <laughs> Why are you called that when you're not, Jolly? <laughs> I'll hand you the gun and you might think that's wrong, Jolly. He isn't happy, he's trigger happy. Dom Jolly. <laughs> Yo. And the battle scene 
is in a sorry state, it's a rotten place. It's a fight for survival if you want to stay and dominate. So it's sort of like the Hunger Games in a lot of ways, because you'll see this bitch catching fire when I'm mocking Jay. Mm. And if I said let's fight, he would either Moan and beg it, go and leg it, phone a friend or phone a medic. You're so pathetic, your flow generic, your face. I hope they edit, cause you're less photogenic than Joseph Merrick. For those that get it, show me credit. Those that don't, forget it or Google it like Ocean said it. Yo, check it. You look like Suge Knight. If he was white, five foot five, had a good life. Okay, you look nothing like Suge Knight. You kind of look like a puff. Ladies and gentlemen, the love child of Elijah Wood and Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Round three, Johnny James, going my way. Look, last year you came to Berlin to battle that guy called Brian Damage. Congrats, bitch, because now you're kind of known in Berlin as that guy who Brian damaged. Now I imagine people who watched it online wondered how abruptly he ended his rounds. But being there live, I know you choked for half your third, then requested they cut it and edit it out, right? Well, don't shake your head right now, I was there just like the rest of the crowd, let's be honest, man. Right, you choked. So why you gotta be so fake, son? MCs have choked in the past, even a lot of all the great ones. But take one stayed on tape, cause honesty is praise, tongue, yet your end got split in the middle. That's why you gotta be a snake, tongue. But his battles aren't the only thing that get cut and chopped, cause I know what happened the next day in Berlin, when you filmed this Don't Flop Drops video. Well watch this. DFAFD, I'm Tongue Twister, here in Berlin, about to drop you some bars. That's it. A simple introduction, Chris. It's not very hard. But that intro took him like ten takes. He constantly mumbled and stumbled and cocked up the start like, It's Mr. Tongue Twister. Oh, <laughs> you can watch it. It left one of his fuck-ups in just for a laugh. But it honestly can't have been that much fun for the star from me watching you start over and over. Took so long it got dark. Took so many shots it's the reason for Liam's more muscular arms. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Like a night out. Yo, that intro was like a night out where you want to get drunk but your pockets aren't large Cause you took a whole bunch of shots and stumbled before you even got to a bar Yo, so no, so no wonder his name is Mr. Tongue Twister When simply saying, this is Tongue Twister, is a Tongue Twister <laughs> Approach him after this battle and be like, I don't know. Hi there, I'm Jen. And he'll reply, Hi, I'm Chris Twait. I mean, Tom. Sorry, can we try that again? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, used to start battles by saying rapper to my right or my left. Introduce yourself, G, until you must have come along and said, mm, At least not do that with me. <laughs> no, but back to Berlin. Back to Berlin where you wanted weed and asked me to supply you some green. You gave me 20 euros in total, remember? Well, I kept 15. <laughs> I then bought a fiver, true story. Split that fiver in three, smoked the best buds, left some dry sticks and seeds, and gave you that for your 20, like, yeah, Berlin's prices are steep. <laughs> then I said goodbye, because I didn't feel to chat with the guy. But he must have misunderstood, like, yeah, it is a goodbye. Great value for price. <laughs> Bitch, those were the skimpiest little 10 bags you must have had in your life. I don't mean to exaggerate, guys, you really had to see them. I mean, thank fuck he didn't compare the bags I gave to him. Mm, with the bags I gave to me. <laughs> the point being, considering you call yourself such a stoner, you don't know much about hash or weed, bro. You're the type to enter a coffee shop here wishing you had some weed and order a cappuccino. <laughs> no, you're actually dumb enough to fly here from London and smuggle a bit of pot with you. Just so you can whip it out your boxes here and be Mr. Popular. Like, yo, you want some weed? I got you, bro. <laughs> yo, bitch, fuck off home. Go back to London for a smoke, fool. Only way you have the Dutch between your lips here is when you're sucking off a local. <laughs> yo, and that way tonight we'll both be taking that drag in our bed. Only difference is, mine will be off a victory spliff, and his drag will be an actual man in a dress. So <laughs> let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, boy. So you're talking about my drops, yeah? Mm -hmm. I may have choked in the intro. <laughs> but when I got out, I had heavy lines in every rhyme. And then the one that's in your drop, drop. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, you're right. I did choke in my battle and he edited it out. That's harsh. Bagnall edited your battle when he put it in bird bars. <laughs> and yeah, you may have noticed our noses are both big. And when our opponents mostly focus on our noses, it's hopeless. 
because we both rebuttal and go sick. But your rebuttals are so shit. I'm the champ of skateboarding pro tricks because if we do 360s, I'm the dopest for the nose flips. Mm. That nose angle, I change it and match it perfectly. That nose angle, change it with plastic surgery. <laughs> I know I got a long nose, but fuck it, yo. At least mine doesn't point downwards like Gonzo's from The Muppet Show. <laughs> but that's wrong, though. You're from another show. Hi. I'm Jolly J, and I'd like to get to know you. You may know me from such programs as Bad Bars, Episode 2. <laughs> so are you. See, I was there. Yeah, but because people are spitting whack to me. And you lost rap while I'm rapping, you whack MC. <laughs> Bars episode two. <laughs> I was there for that battle, and that was one of the ones I wanted to watch until you said, the only time you're on top of the pops is when you're on your dad's shoulders and you're on top of your pops. You should probably stop. <laughs> but no, he carried on like, the only time you've ever seen anyone holding a kilo is when a midget is going through his door and he's holding a kilo. <laughs> Innuendo 3-0. <laughs> Some of the shittest bars in existence. <laughs> but I didn't think to listen. Yeah, I did, I'm kidding. Listen! <laughs> you said. <laughs> I took that criticism like she takes jism. <laughs> I took it on the chin and swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> what a brick. Did you not stop and think before you jotted it? No, he did the opposite like swallow jizz on the chin. That's proper sick. <laughs> but I'm not going to start giving him criticism. He might think of jism. <laughs> he might think of jism, but yo, if you think he's whack, you're not wrong. He definitely is. He's got like one hot song, but it will never be a hit. Jog on. I'm telling him to quit. Then go to ratemypoo.com and log on. Because there's levels to this shit. <laughs> And when you talk or spit, it's like you farted in my face. Awkward. And now it's sort of like I have pink eye and it's forcing me to forfeit. Because in my eyes, you're shit. That's how you do a shit bar. Time. Let's go, man. Bring your crew. You set frail so, set sail, don't try and cuss then The crowd in awe of the way I came overseas to meet this guy in public Bars on deck, I ain't the kind of guy you wanna try and punch with Right, rock his boat, make him float Now you can really see a flying Dutchman mm -hmm.